So this is a portrait of a snow leopard, a large Asian cat, a wild cat, and it has the Himalayas in back of it. And on the bottom, there will be some prayer flags. The snow leopards are a very endangered, large wild cat that is, um, their habitat is the Himalaya, the Korakram, which is in Pakistan and I think India, um, and then uh, also Mongolia. So the highlands of Central Asia. They live from about like 9,800 feet up to 15,000 feet. So, so they're obviously carnivores like all cats are. Um, they eat mountain goats and mountain sheep and um, that's, that's their natural diet. They do predate on local indigenous people's um, animals. Um, indigenous people raise goats and sheep to eat and for their skins. Um, so they do, um, you know, they are predators, so they get into, into um, eating people's domestic animals. So the cats themselves are, are really muted colors um, and they're usually like a gray, kind of chromatic grays, whites, and maybe a little bit of tawny color. So right now, the painting is, the colors are really muted. Um, the brightest spot is probably the cat's nose. I do want to put the prayer flags at the bottom. I, I um, And that may be a challenge regarding coloring because prayer flags are generally um, like bright green, bright red, yellow, blue, and white. That's what the ones I've seen photos of in Nepal and on Everest are those colors. And so that's gonna draw the viewer's eye down to the bottom of the painting with the really bright colors. I want to put the prayer flags in. If it becomes too much of a problem with the really bright colors, I may abandon that idea and replace the, pla the, the prayer flags with plants, like Himalayan plants. Um, I hope I don't have to do that. I really want the, the prayer flags in there because I think they help tell a nice story. But I also have some concerns that uh, there'll be very bright colors at the bottom and it may, it, it may be difficult um, visually because the rest of the, of the painting is pretty muted. I would love people to go and take a look at snowleopard.org. They focus their energy on science and on education and on working with the local people because they say a, a very large percentage of cat, large cats that are killed is because of human lives or cat, wild cat livestock interactions. So in other words, cats coming in and predating on the local people's livestock. So yeah, I'll put a link in the description, but snowleopard.org. Yeah, I think um, I, I usually don't work with a square format. I happen to have these really nice panels that I got years ago and we've been in the shutdown and the art store has been closed and I didn't want to buy anything new and so I'm, I'm doing a new series with these square panels, which I am actually finding that I, I like working on. Um, but the, but the, the it, it, it does present different challenges regarding the composition. Um, obviously with these portraits, the, the portrait itself is very centered, this one and the ocelot one I did, and there's going to be a few more. Um, so I have to do things with the composition to kind of help offset that so it's not completely symmetrical. So with this piece, um, the, there's a ridge of the Himalayas in back of the cat's head, so there's a little bit of offsetting of the symmetry there, um, and, and that'll help. It's kind of a little bit of a balancing act to make sure that the composition works.
and the nose too. Are there any other considerations for the viewer? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm, this, this part of the painting makes me nervous, actually. It makes me really pretty nervous because it's like easy to fuck it up. And you know what happens when I fuck up paintings. <laughs>